I really need to stop going to bed at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning because I am getting a much later start than what I wanted. It is now noon. I am headed out to pick up some plastic drawers that I purchased offline or I guess online from a friend and I need to go to the post office. I need to go to make a return at Target. My father wants more of those wooden school bus signs, so I'm on my way to our Target to find out if they have any. Um, anybody know if like you ask them to make an order for you, will they do it? Like I just want like something that you purchase from Bullseye's Playground. I feel like they're not gonna order it for me, but my father really wants these school bus signs for his school bus drivers. So if anyone knows how to get more of the stuff that they're putting out at Bullseye's Playground, can you let me know in the comments? Like, I really want to find out how to get more of those signs. All right, so I am home, and I'm going to show you guys what I got. I went to Michael's, Target, and I think I just locked my keys in my car. Oh, okay, good now. I think just Michael's and Target. Oh, oh and I went to go pick up um, the plastic bins from my friend. So this is what I needed, the three drawers, but these are like larger drawers. They hold larger than eight and a half by 11 paper. I went to Target and I bought, uh oh, it's coming out, the um, more school buses and these trays. I'm on the hunt for these trays because I've been buying um, aluminum foil to do like science projects on, but I love that these can be washed and reused. I found the blue book bins I had been looking for at Target. So these are the book bins from Target. They're a little bit differently than the green ones here that I got from Michaels. So they look very similar, but their sizes are a little bit different. And then I bought poster boards that I can make better thumbnails. So I'm gonna get all the stuff inside and probably refilm my teacher tag video because I just have been thinking about it all day and it was horribly done. So I'm gonna go inside and do that. I wasn't able to edit any videos today, but I did get about two or three filmed, which I'm really excited about. So tomorrow morning, I have to run Willie to the groomers, and before that, I'm gonna get some editing done. Just knowing that I have at least five videos for you guys to put up excites me. I really wanna just get it done and get it uploaded to YouTube and just like put them on a schedule and they'll go up whenever they're scheduled to go up. I do need to clean out my parents' basement. I have some stuff that I still wanna sell on our Facebook online yard sales and get those things out there. So that's on my to-do list, possibly, if not tomorrow, definitely Sunday. Saturday, I'm really excited. Ian and I are gonna go to a running store called Pacers where we're gonna get running shoes. Him and I have been doing the Couch to 5K app and it's going really well, but we both need running shoes. We both wanna be active and not really avid runners, but it's definitely a way to get our cardio in. So we're really excited to um, get something to motivate us. and doing it together so I'm really excited about that right now I'm on my way to Ian's house we are about to cook our fourth meal from HelloFresh we are very excited and very happy with HelloFresh that they're healthy and they're just it's a fun thing for us to do together
but when he starts whining again, I'll get it on film because it's absolutely annoying. He's more interested in the camera right now. look at what his haircut is now and then you'll be able to see what it's like after he goes to the groomers he hates the groomers absolutely hates it she's wonderful but he hates going look how handsome you are he's so cute he's looking at everyone through the window and whenever we come to a stoplight he is just whining and wants to say hi to everybody but sorry you inside yeah Look how handsome you look. What? No, no, no. You need to sit. Good boy. You need to sit. Good boy. Good boy, handsome. Good boy, handsome. Where's your bone? Where's your bone? I gave you one. Because I forgot to give you one this morning. Good boy. video on this but I'm going to be using this Plinko board as my classroom management tool. If you're wondering how I'm going to use this, I'm going to let my students earn so many points, maybe like 10, 20, I don't know, maybe as much as 50 points per week. And every Friday, I'm going to have my kids cash in their points for an opportunity to play the Plinko board game. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to change these numbers here at the bottom to represent some sort of reward system. So they can earn extra recess time or computer time or I don't know, bring a stuffed animal to school or positive note home or I don't know, anything. I'm gonna put those rewards down here. So I'm gonna change the numbers. But when the students cash their points in, they're going to get the opportunity to drop the disc and whatever it goes in is what they're gonna earn. And I really like this because that way they're not fighting over to always have computer time, but that they can, oops, okay. So yeah, we might have to figure out some other discs. Okay, yep, nope. Maybe it's not far back enough. Good thing I'm playing this now, right? <laughs> okay, so I don't think I had it back far enough, but yeah, there we go. It just needs to be, nope. Thought it needed, okay, I might need to have other discs. If you know how to play pink, Plinko, and you know how to get these discs to work, let me know. <laughs> yes, this is gonna work awesome. I'm so excited. I'll do a more in-depth video later. For those of you that were wondering if our Southern Maryland Target has the Astro Bites calendar set that every YouTuber is getting, they have them at Target. They also have lesson plans down there. Lesson planners. Look at all of their school stuff. It's only July. Ooh, these look nice. How fun are these colors? Cool, cool. Anyway. Come get them before they're all gone. I was just looking through this planner. This is such a good planner. I bought one like this about four years ago from Walmart, but it looks like Target has it. So it has the monthly. And then if you flip it, this is what I like, the date on the end and the subjects up top here. I love the lines. So if anybody's interested, this lesson planner is at Target right now. There's a lot of them. It's Monday. At four o'clock. I'm surprised all this stuff is still here. I love this layout. So very simple. This one I plan on using actually as like a behavior, um, keeping track of my behavior. Not even just like negative behaviors, positive behaviors as well. So it does have like the full calendar, but I love that um, it has the subjects down here because I'm actually going to put the students' names here. And if whatever they're doing, I can put it on each day. So if like I write Joey's name up top, <laughs> Joey, if you're watching this, you did not think to say your name. Joey's name could be written up here and I could be monitoring what Joey is doing each day. 
and that can change too so like if I have parent teacher conferences I can go and like highlight the student's name like oh Marie you were I was watching you like then so I actually bought this the other day I plan on using this lesson planner for tracking behaviors and parent communication I have a cot that I'm putting in my room this year I wonder if these pillows will be great for that cot as like a cushion they're on sale for $20. These are so cute too, and they're on clearance. Two bucks. You like pencil holders. They are glass, so be careful of that. Yeah, these pins are only $5. I love these lights from Target, but I'm not too sure. I want them in my room. $16, and I know that there's words for $14. That's a little bit more expensive than I'd like to spend. This would be super cute. It's not lighting up. I wanted to do a quick Target haul for you guys. I only got a few things because I really shouldn't be spending money right now. But I ended up finding two more school buses for my dad. I probably don't even need these two school buses, so I may just end up taking them back. But I do plan on um, giving them to him because I don't know if he needs any extras. So. When I find them, I'm going to buy them. But I should already have enough, so I do need to double check how many um, more he needs or if he even needs these two. I needed more shampoo and conditioner, so I found this Pantene. Um, I haven't seen this before. Their Dream Care line shampoo and conditioner. It came as a set, buy two and save. Um, I'm not really sure. I think it was like $6.99 or $8.99 for the set, which I thought was a really good deal, but may not have been because I think they're like only $3 or $4 each. So good advertising, Target. <laughs> or I guess Pantene. That would be Pantene's issue. <laughs> Sorry, Target. I still love you. Um, I needed um, more razors. <laughs> And I bought a fidget spinner from the dollar spot. Now, a lot of you teachers are probably cringing right now. Like, why would I need a fidget spinner? But when I do a video about my Plinko board, one of the rewards that I'm going to offer my students is basically a center bin. Rather than offering extra recess, I'm going to create a recess bin. And that's what my students will get the opportunity to play with. And I'm gonna stick this fidget spinner in that bin because of course these are all the rage. And if they aren't allowed to have fidget spinners at school, I can provide them with I can provide them the opportunity to play with one during their extra recess if that's what they win with like their dojo points slash Plinko board, which I'll do a whole video about my new behavior management system that I'm going to do this year. I can't wait. I'm so excited for it. And I think the center bin, like a recess bin is actually a good idea because it's hard to offer one student extra recess. You kind of have to offer like it to the whole class. Like that's a, that's something the whole class can earn, not just one student. So I'm going to offer, put together a recess bin. I found these schedule cards in Bullseye Playground and I'm trying to really be conscientious of how I spend my money. If I'm going to spend $5 on Teachers Pay Teachers towards scheduling cards, I think I can pay $3 towards Target to buy these. And I need new scheduling cards. I, that was something that was on my list that I needed to buy. So I'm glad I found them. And of course, like scheduling cards, like I know if you're doing a theme, you want them to be like nice and pretty and fit your theme but if you're just not caring what your theme is like I am they have them at the bullseyes playground the last thing I bought was this teacher's grade book from the bullseyes playground and the reason why I bought a grade book even though we have an online grading system is for my students to be in charge of attendance this year I really like that the lettered classroom allows her students to take attendance in the morning and that could be one thing that is off my plate but also help me so we are required like I said to put our attendance in an online system and I always forget I cannot tell you how many times I have forgotten to put attendance in and I won't do it until sometimes either my planning, my lunch, or even at the end of the day. And sometimes sadly, even the next day. And sorry, parents who are watching this, sometimes it happens. Teachers just forget. There's new things that evolve and the changes that are happening 
in schools that we are trying to keep up with. And it's sometimes it's one more thing on a teacher's plate, especially attendance in the morning. You're trying to see how your children are. You're trying to check if they've eaten breakfast or what they're wearing is appropriate for the weather. You have so many things on your mind in the morning that attendance sometimes falls by the wayside. So I plan on putting a student in charge of attendance in the morning. Now that doesn't mean putting them on my computer and taking attendance with my computer. No, that's where this grade book is going to come into play. I'm going to have each student's name and you see that it looks like a regular grade book. So all of the days of the week are at the top and my student who is in charge of attendance is just going to check if they're here and if they're not, it's going to say absent. And I can't wait for this to happen because it's going to hold me accountable, but also give some responsibility back to my students. So if you're interested in um, more details on how I'm going to do this, if you want me to do a separate video on my attendance and how I'm going to use this grade book as my attendance book, let me know and I can do a whole video on it right after the student takes attendance in the morning and that's when they can do like a greeting with each other I'm going to have my student be responsible for putting this on my desk and that way when I see it I can go ahead and it's my reminder to put it into the system so that's all I got at Target my total cost was probably about $40 which is not what I wanted to spend today but you know when you go into a place that you love and you should avoid it at all costs but it's Target guys we always find stuff that we need in Target